Hello and welcome to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 11th of December and I'm here as always to give you a daily dose of your latest gaming news. This time I'm bringing you some news from the Elder Scrolls Online as a release date for the Elder Scrolls MMO has finally been announced and it will be coming to both PC and Mac on April 4th, 2014 while the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions will be coming out later on in the year in June 2014. So not much of a disparity between the two, a couple of months at the most which is pretty decent and it will be interesting to see exactly how the gameplay differs in terms of the controls of course with MMOs traditionally you would definitely need a keyboard in order to play them so I'm just curious as to how well they're going to translate over to console but alongside this information Bethesda has also released a new gameplay trailer which of course I will link in the description which highlights the game's quote massive PvP system allowing hundreds of players to fight together and against one another in a quest to claim the Ruby Throne Game development is coming along very well and that comes from game director Matt Furore in a new blog posted on the official Elder Scrolls Online website and he continued saying quote we completed major systems development and are focusing on making this Elder Scrolls game you expect polishing the hundreds and hundreds of hours of content making combat even more fun and responsive fixing quest issues and much much more now, when he touched on the topic of why the console versions will be, t will be released two months later, Furore had this to say, quote, Worldwide demand for the Elder Scrolls Online is extraordinarily high. This means we need to do a staggered rollout of the different versions of the game to spread out the initial service load and ensure an enjoyable, smooth gameplay experience. It's not only a game we are launching, it is a large online service as well. And our number one priority is to ensure a trouble fee trouble free excuse me stable rollouts for everyone so there you have it we finally have a release date for both the PC Mac and console versions of the Elder Scrolls MMO now what do I think well I think that this is going to be an interesting experiment as to how well this is going to work on console MMOs, well, they're not really console territory for obvious reasons. They don't tend to translate very well given the masses of controls, of course. I think that the delay for the console version makes perfect sense considering, well, not only will they have the PC and Mac versions to worry about optimization, probably the bugs and undoubtedly the launch problems that come with every single large MMO release. It's just kind of part and parcel of the, the nature of the beast, unfortunately. Um, they will also be, of course, wanting to make sure it's properly optimised for console, not just in terms of graphics, but also in terms of controls, UI and so on. So I think it's perfectly reasonable. Two months seems like, it seems like a long time, but when you consider the amount of things that they're going to be having to deal with during that time, such as the PC and Mac problems, the launch issues that are undoubtedly going to happen, bugs, patches, so on. And then of course, optimization and final bug testing for the console versions. Two months doesn't really sound like that long at all. Still, as always, I would be curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this and what you think, whether or not you're still interested in this game. Personally, well, it has a monthly subscription, so I'm kind of half and half. I've talked a little bit about that before, so I don't want to discuss that too much, but it has kind of put me off dipping into the game. I'm going to be quite honest. Subscription MMOs are something that I literally just don't have time for, so I may have a look at it, but that kind of depends. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.